Hey everyone, it's Julie at the Paper Bag Lady 1. I have not dropped off the face of the earth. I am still here. I have just been very busy. It is summertime and I feel like a taxi some days. Um, but that's not bad. It's good. I've been spending time with my family. I've also been working a little bit, trying to get ready for shows. Um, but I have not been to my thrift store since the last video I did, which... I don't know, what was that? The beginning of June, maybe? The last thrift store video I did? I can't remember. Anyway, it's been a while. But I took my daughter down to visit my parents today and I thought, well... Heck, I'm just going to stop in, and um, I've lost something. Darn it. Anyway, I thought I'm just going to stop into my little thrift store and see what I can see. So, I didn't find, oh, there it is. I didn't find a ton of stuff, but I will show you what I did find. Okay, so, here we go. All right, first of all, we have recipe cards, assorted designs, Christmas. I love recipe cards. You know that. Here we have flashcards because I don't have enough. Um, but look, I don't have any that look like this. So yay, there's that. Look at this. Uh, score pad for bridge. I've got multiple ones of these, but most of them are about half this size or smaller. So this is like a big one. So that's exciting. Here we have a flexible class register. Look how cool that is. <laughs> and then plus these little things tear off if you wanted to. I remember my mother using one of these, except hers was actually bigger than this, but it's still cool. It was 35 cents and the yellow tags are 50% off today. I'm not doing the math, but it was on sale. Then I got this Webster's Pages little packet for 99 cents. I'm not sure how much has been used. But the reason I actually got this is that I have some random Webster's Pages um, things. And just looking at these papers, some of them look like they would coordinate even though they're not the same. This is Best Friends, the mid-release collection. But anyway, it looked like they might coordinate. So for 99 cents, I thought, well, and if they don't, they coordinate with themselves. So I can always do that. And heck, who doesn't want to make an album they're going to sell for, what, $25 when they spent 99 cents on the paper? Yeah, I can do that. Woo! Okay, so we have science ruled graph paper for 10 cents. And we have some more guideline prepared tracing paper. Look at this. Which is also graph paper like, but thin, like tracing. Oh, look, somebody was drawing. Didn't notice that. Perhaps a house, a barn, or a church. Anyway, oh, look, there they started. Anyway, and that was also 10 cents, so very cool, very cool. Don't need that. We'll recycle it. And let me see, look at these funny farm cards. <laughs> We've got the king cow and the queen cow and the, the jack and look all the little cows. And then there's a pig suit and a, is that a donkey? And a chicken. Anyway, that, and then of course, oh, maybe that's the donkey. Anyway, I thought that was really cute. There's just a kid album or two or seven out there waiting for me to use those. Then I bought this teaspoon for 10 cents because I like these. Then all the books were 50% off. I didn't really need any books and I can't really use these books for any um, sale purposes, but look, it's Rudolph, and I actually bought this one because I do have a couple sets of, they're actually note cards, but they're Rudolph, Rudolph note cards. So I thought, oh, that might be fun to do an album someday for a friend with kids or something like that, or just for me. Then I also have a Nutcracker one, again, for the same reasons. I think I actually already have this book, maybe once or twice. And then, wait for it, you know what's coming. I know you know what's coming. Snow White. <laughs> Anyway, these books were all a quarter. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't leave her there. Okay, and then finally, I found these little things. I'll take them out. You probably won't be able to see very well because this thing is horrible at, um, what's the word? Focusing. But anyway, the, the little kind of bronzy, I guess there's some kind of bead thing, so they've got little holes there that you could string them on something, or maybe they were a necklace once, but they've got these little colored gems. There's like a ruby 
deep red and a green and a orangey yellow. So there's round ones and square ones. Well, there's purple in there too. So I know you can't see those really well. Is that better? Probably not. But anyway, they're very cool. So that is what I got at my little thrift store today for $6.99. Oh no, I lied. There were also four little saucers for 10 cents a piece and I bought those for the cat food because sometimes I'm too lazy to do the dishes every day. So it's nice to have spares. Anyway, <laughs> so that is um, what I got at my thrift store. What I've been up to, you can see there my um, decorative Christmas boxes. Those are the ones I haven't done yet, but I have three tubs of Christmas decorative boxes that I have made the albums for on the inside. Like I've decorated all the pages. I haven't bound them together and I haven't done the covers and then I have to decorate the outside of the boxes. But that is what I've been doing. I have 30 of them finished. I have seven more to go. Woo! So yay, so that's exciting. Um, I do have some custom orders I have to do, so I'll have to take care of that before I finish these up. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. Sorry I haven't been around. Um, I'm just rambling now, so I think I'll stop. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. I hope everyone's having a really great summer, or if you're not in this particular hemisphere, that you're having a good winter. Um, and I will hopefully talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.